Let's go ahead and finish up these problems. Uh, we just got a couple left here. We're on B. And what I might advise is you go ahead and pause these if you haven't done so already and try these yourself and then see how well they match up with the answers I'm about to provide you. For B, you have iron oxide with perchloric acid. So iron oxide is a metal oxide. So metal oxides and you're adding it to perchloric acid, which is an acid. So based on the example I gave you earlier, this should give us some salt and water as a uh, product. So write this out. Um, this is iron two oxide. Whoops, no subscripts, they cancel each other out. So iron oxide puff plus perchloric acid. So that gets a little four. And then looking at our products, so we're gonna switch the whole thing. The perchlorate will be with the iron. And it's iron two. So it's gonna look like that, switching. And then you're gonna get water. And I'm not gonna spend any extra time here, but if I put the coefficients in where they need to be, that's it. And these are our products. So this is considered a salt, and this is water. So again, just to kind of reference what we just did here, um, we have a metal oxide plus um, an acid. It's going to give us a salt and water. Okay, sulfur trioxide. We've seen this once or twice now and water, we should just charge right ahead on this one, is a non-metal oxide plus water, it's gonna be an acid, H2SO4, which is sulfuric acid. So I'm not gonna write this out, but it is a non-metal oxide plus water producing an acid. There it is. All right, carbon dioxide, non-metal oxide, with aqueous sodium hydroxide, which is definitely a base. And I'm putting it together, so something that should be acidic and something that's basic, same idea. You have to get salt and water. Uh, so I'm going to start with the sodium thing, and the sodium is going to match up over here, and you may not be able to see this right away. It's going to be sodium carbonate. That's what it's going to be. So sodium plus a carbon dioxide compound, it's going to make carbon carbonate. And then the other thing is simply going to be water. Okay, and then balancing this out, we've got a two there, and that's it. So again, this is making salt water. All right, let's bounce over to 71. Why is calcium generally more reactive than magnesium? So let's take a look at these guys here. Calcium and magnesium. Why is calcium generally more reactive than magnesium? So we just back up and not think about the question, just think how they relate to each other. They're in the same row, so as far as going left to right, that doesn't seem to change anything. It's all up and down. So which one has a difference and why? So calcium is lower, so therefore it's larger, it's shell, it's larger. So what do you know about its valence electrons? If this one has valence electrons which are closer to the nucleus, they're more tightly held. So this has electrons which are a little further away, and therefore they're more easily released. So it's um, valence, I'll just write it like this. Electrons, why is calcium more reactive than magnesium? Because it's the valence electrons are in a higher energy level. All right, last one here. Why is calcium generally less reactive than potassium? So still sticking with calcium. Why is calcium, pull this down here a little bit. Why is calcium generally less reactive than potassium? So again, this time they're in the same row and we can have that conversation. 
Um, this is going to be basically looking at what's going on from here to here. And we've mentioned this in the very beginning. Uh, what does calcium have more of than potassium? It has larger ZEF. So the effective nuclear charge in these guys in the same row, same energy level, uh, these, it has two electrons on the outside shell. This has one. Um, so as you're going along and adding more protons for calcium, it's going to pull on the individual electrons in the outside shell more strongly for calcium than they do for potassium. So the simple answer, calcium has greater ZEF. And that is the end of this chapter.